Hello friends, my name is Scott and this is How to Master SHSAT Math, where we're going to do a new problem every single week on this channel. So let's get started now. This week's problem is all about probability. Let me read it to you, then you can try it on your own and I'll reveal the answer. So a bag contains four green sticks, one yellow stick, three blue sticks, and two red sticks. What is the probability that a green and a yellow stick are chosen from the bag if the sticks are not replaced between drawings? So go ahead and try this one on your own. I want you to hit pause now because I'm going to reveal the answer in three, two, one. Our answer for this question is two forty-fifths. If you got that one right, congratulations. I'll see you back here next week. Otherwise, let's do it together now. So there's a couple of keys to this problem to give us some clues. We have probability right here. Very good indicator that this is going to be a probability problem. We are also told the sticks are not replaced. Right? That's also important because you may have set up the problem like this. So it wants a green stick. That's four out of ten. And it wants a yellow stick. Yellow stick is a 1 out of 10, right? You may have done this, multiplied. This equals 4 out of 100 or 1 out of 25. But again, that's not our answer. So what went wrong? Well, this is the wrong setup. We can start with the four green sticks out of 10. Because when you first draw the sticks, there are 10. But after we remove one of those sticks, right? We are not left with 10 sticks anymore. We only have nine remaining. So when we go to choose that yellow stick, there's only one option, but this time there's only nine sticks in the bag. So there were 10 sticks, now there's only nine. Now we can simply multiply and see what we get. Four times one is four. 10 times nine is 90. You might've got this answer. However, you did not simplify your answer. If we divide the numerator and denominator by 2, we end up getting 2 out of 45. All right. So on the actual SHSAT, the answer is 1 out of 25 and uh, 4 out of 90 will both probably be choices. right? But you need to find the correct answer, which is 2 out of 45, which is one of the reasons why the SHSAT exam is so challenging. Hey everyone, thanks for checking out our video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. We would greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those below as well. And in the description, there's a link for 50% off my math course, How to Master SHSAT Math. All right, that's it. We'll see you next week. Bye. Emma, say bye. Emma, say bye to the people. Bye, YouTube. Say bye. Yeah, bye.